in the Arab media, when I go there, I constantly tell them, guys, we are, we Israel, our normal state, full democracy, vibrant society, uh, um, you know, a member of the OECD, the developed countries in the world. Um, and we did it in spite of the hatred and the wars and everything. We don't really need peace with you. And actually, you don't have peace within yourselves. Look at your countries, look at Syria, look at Iraq, look at Libya, look at Yemen. Um, you, don't, you don't know what peace is. So you, what do you give us for peace with you? This is what I say. And you know what? They respect it because they understand that I'm right. That Israel <laughs> doesn't really need the Arab world for its progress. We lived uh, many years until 1979 without any peace with Arabs. And since 48, 31 years, Israel lived with no peace with any one of the Arab countries. Then Egypt joined it. Egypt made peace with us. And we continued living. And then Jordan joined and the Palestinians in 1993 in the Oslo agreements. And uh, lo and behold, we are, we are the same country. Means the, the peace with the Arab world is not something which is inevitable for Israel. Indispensable. It is not indispensable. So uh, uh, we, we should take things, you know, in proportions, not making, not make a fuss out of, out of it, only because some Arab want to sit with us and to cooperate. Okay, let, let him sit. He will benefit, will benefit. But to, to, to say that this changes the whole situation of the state of Israel, the Middle East became a paradise of human rights and, and, and stability and political freedoms. Excuse me. Okay? It's not the situation. So uh, this is why we should, everybody who speaks, should keep it on a low profile in order to have the price lower. Pulse of Israel on frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.